Good evening from our CBS newsroom in New York on this, the first broadcast of network television's first daily half-hour news program. And that's the way it is. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down the top 10 most memorable TV news moments in the career of Walter Cronkite. Old anchorman, you see, don't fade away. They just keep coming back for more. Walter Cronkite was born November 4, 1916, in St. Joseph, Missouri. He gained prominence as a reporter during World War II. I'm just back from the biggest assignment that any American reporter could have so far in this war. And became the CBS Evening News anchor on April 16, 1962. By 1970, this gentle authority figure was the top-rated news anchor and was the most trusted man in America due to his reliable reports on major 20th century events. Number 10. The Iran Hostage Crisis When a group of Americans was taken hostage in Iran by Islamist militants, the country took notice. Months passed without resolution. Today's confusing events were compounded by conflicting reports from Tehran. And this prompted Cronkite to add a countdown after his famous closing catchphrase to emphasize how long the crisis had been ongoing. He kept this going until they were finally released over a year later. And that's the way it is, Tuesday, January 20th, 1981. A day that began as the 444th day of captivity and ended as the first day of freedom for the American hostages in Iran. Number 9. The Three Mile Island Incident Good evening. The world has never known a day quite like today. Fear from the Cold War was still pervading the American consciousness, as was the threat of nuclear war. When the Three Mile Island nuclear power plant experienced a partial meltdown, it was no wonder the masses were frightened. As radioactive gas leaked into Pennsylvania, Cronkite offered his support to the nation in the form of a detailed and calm report. We'll have more on the nuclear power accident in a moment. Number 8. His retirement. He had been the face of CBS for 20 years and had reported on the most significant events during that time. However, in 1981, Cronkite announced his retirement. This is my last broadcast as the anchor man of the CBS Evening News. This father figure vacated his anchor chair in favor of Dan Rather, but not before he gave audiences one last memorable sign-off. And that's the way it is, Friday, March 6th, 1981. I'll be away on assignment and Dan Rather will be sitting in here for the next few years. Good night. Number 7. Watergate Report Though the Washington Post had already broken the Watergate story, Cronkite and his CBS News team compiled a comprehensive report for an even wider segment of the American public. Five men, apparently caught in the act of burglarizing and bugging Democratic headquarters in Washington. Cronkite made the Watergate caper a national news story right before the 1972 presidential election and lent credibility to the shocking allegations. Number 6. MLK's Death Martin Luther King Jr. was known as one of the best orators of all time, and it was only fitting that his death was announced by another talented speaker. Cronkite got straight to the point when recounting this assassination and spared no details. Good evening, Dr. Martin Luther King, the apostle of nonviolence in the civil rights movement, has been shot to death in Memphis, Tennessee. Though a few of his word choices were dated, this report went down in history as one of the best. Number 5. LBJ's Death in the years before flashy breaking news graphics, all Cronkite needed was a hand gesture to suggest something important had happened. He was first to receive word that former President Lyndon Johnson had died and was already in the middle of a newscast when he did. I'm talking to Tom Johnston, the press secretary for Lyndon Johnson, who has reported that uh, the 36th President of the United States died this afternoon. Cronkite had the guts to let dead air run while he got the whole story. Number 4. 1968 Democratic National Convention The witness to that Hilton violence that it seemed to be unprovoked on the part of the demonstrators. That year's Democratic National Convention came at a time when the Vietnam War raged, the civil rights movement was at full steam, and numerous important leaders had been assassinated. The result was violence in Chicago, where police clashed with anti-war protesters and security sparred with young reporters like Dan Rather. I didn't do very well. I think we've got a bunch of thugs here, Dan. Though Cronkite later said he regretted showing his anger, it was nice to see his human side. Number 3. The Moon Landing Another one of history's most significant moments is forever linked with this veteran newsman. Neil Armstrong, 38-year-old American, standing on the surface of the moon. The Apollo 11 moon landing was not only a giant leap for mankind, it was also a highlight in Cronkite's career due to his love of the space program. Unlike anchors who preceded him, Cronkite showed his excitement on the news that day. He was so in awe of the event, even he was unable to speak. 
<laughs> okay, we're going to be busy for a minute. Number two, the Vietnam War. 1968 was a year of upheaval in the United States, and one of the most divisive issues was the Vietnam War. Cronkite visited the war-torn country to witness the consequences of the Tet Offensive firsthand, and what he found was an unwinnable war. For it seems now more certain than ever that the bloody experience of Vietnam is to end in a stalemate. Cronkite's unprecedented commentary turned public opinion against the war, and weeks later, President Johnson announced he would not seek a second term. Number 1. JFK's Death Taking the top spot on our list is a moment that united the entire nation in grief. TV news was in its infancy, and Cronkite delivered the news of President Kennedy's shooting and eventual death with characteristic poise, restraint, and controlled emotion. From Dallas, Texas, the flash, apparently official, President Kennedy died at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. The figure of Uncle Walter removing his glasses to break the news became one of many defining images from that day. This is Walter Cronkite. Good night. Direct from our newsroom in New York, this has been the CBS Evening News with Walter Cronkite.